Welcome to Believer's Channel 2. I'm Pastor Russ. Today I'm going to be talking about Israel being regathered. So stay there with me so I can really get into this with you because we're in Bible times right now. So before I get into that, I'd like to remind you that there's a thumbs up button at the bottom. When you hit that, it helps us a lot. And when you become a subscriber, it opens up more and more doors for people to hear the Word of God and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So be a part of that. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. Now let's get to today's message. Ezekiel 37, 21 through, 22, 21 through 22. Then say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Surely I will take the children of Israel from among the nations, wherever they have gone, and will gather them from every side and bring them into our own land. Verse 22, And I will make them one nation in the land and on the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king over them all. They shall no longer be two nations, nor shall they ever be divided into two kingdoms again. This is a promise from God spoken through the prophet Ezekiel. So I want you to understand, no matter what you hear on the news about countries surrounding Israel and all the other countries from the north coming down into the north of Israel to attack them and try to destroy them, Satan himself wants them all dead, don't believe none of that garbage because it's not going to happen. They may come against Israel but God, these are God's people. He is not going to let it happen. He's promised. He has promised the Jew that he, once he brings them back together again, nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to separate them again. No one's going to disperse them again, ever. Now, they may have to fight a battle alone, but they got God to fight it with. It doesn't matter if the U.S. is there or anybody else. The Jews will fight their battles with their God, and their God will protect them. And their God is your God, I hope. I hope every Christian realizes that the Jewish God is our God. When we accept Jesus, we become, uh, we, we become a Messianic believer. We're adopted in the Messianic community. We become all a part of that. So know that the Jew and the Christian are God's people. But God himself has protected the Jew. God himself has a, a, a agreement with the Jew. They are betrothed to one another. The Jew is the bride of God. The church is the bride of Jesus. So, I know somebody's going to say there's only one God, and there is. But it's separated out that way so you'll understand it. Okay, now, Ezekiel is telling us that they're bringing the Jews back together again someday, and it happens to be our time. They're bringing them back from all over the world. Aliyah, from Russia, from everywhere, Africa. Uh, you name it, they're coming in from everywhere. And it's fulfilling prophecy. This whole, whole period of time that we're in right now is prophecy being fulfilled by the living God. He's making it happen. So trust in God. Know that what you hear on the news isn't going to happen. Nothing's going to happen to the Jews. They got their God. It's impossible. So if you want to be a part of all this, we're witnessing firsthand prophecy being fulfilled and many others are being fulfilled every day right now. That's a sign that Jesus is about to return. You want to be a part of that. You want to be a part of the rapture. Because when he returns for the church, we're going to be raptured out. 
We're the only thing holding Satan back. And we have to be gone for him to go into the tribulation and do his thing. The tribulation cannot happen unless the church is gone. So I'm asking you right now, please accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Accept him for what he did on the cross for you. By doing that, when that trumpet sounds and all believers are taken up, so we are not going to be a part of this terrible tribulation, you'll be a part of it. Remember, if you're not a part of it, you're left behind in that tribulation. You're left behind for a judgment in the lake of fire. There'll be no hope for you. Right now, there's hope. Jesus is the hope. By accepting him, you'll be received in heaven. You'll bypass all this terrible stuff that's coming down the pike. This verse, the gathering of the nations, all this already happened in 1948. May 1948, the Jews became a nation overnight as prophesied in the book of Isaiah. In one day, can you imagine that? Nobody ever thought it could happen. Nobody, I mean, no, even the pastor said, I don't see how this could happen. And yet it happened. So believe, believe on Jesus. Accept what he did for you on the cross so that you will be counted worthy when the rapture hits. That's the next big event. And it ain't too far off. When you see things like this happen, you know Jesus is just around the corner. So say this prayer with me so you can be part of that. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner, but I believe what Jesus did for me on the cross will set me free. I believe his blood will wash me clean. Father, please accept me into heaven in Yeshua Jesus' name. Forgive me. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, you're on your way. Just get to know Jesus. Make him your best friend. Make the Holy Spirit your best friend. Just learn to be a part of the team. Uh, the closer you draw to Jesus, the more you're going to understand him and the more you're going to be like him. So get to know Jesus. A friendship with him is what Jesus is looking for. He wants to be your friend. Now I'd like to bless you. May God bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may his countenance be with you every day. In Jesus' name, God bless you.